Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in law and data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding finding the topic of each post and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is hard and this question has been asked in Facebook over the past couple of years. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called keywords with two different columns, topic ID, word, the combined columns topic ID and word is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table contains the ID of a topic and a word that is used to express this topic. Okay. There may be more than one word to express the same topic and one word may be used to express multiple topics. Okay. We are also given a second table called post with two different columns. Post ID content. Post ID is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table contains the ID of a post and content. Content will consist only of English letters and spaces. Okay. Leadcode has collected some posts from a social media website and is interested in finding the topics of each post. Each topic can be expressed by one or more keywords. If a keyword of a certain topic exists in the content of a post, case insensitive, then the post has this topic. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the topics of each post according to the following rules. If the post does not have keywords from any topic, its topic should be ambiguous. If the post has at least one keyword of any topic, its topic should be the string of IDs of its topics sorted in ascending order and separated by commas. The string should not contain duplicate IDs. Okay. The order of the result does not matter. Okay. Let's go through this example, right? So here we have different topics, right? So topic ID one can have will have word handball and football right so topic id 3 the word is going to be war and topic id 2 vaccine right so any post basically which has these words right for example if it has handball right so this is belongs to topic id 1 right so if had if it has football 1 right if it has both handball and football still belongs to topic id 1 like similarly if it has war then 3 and vaccine then 2 now let's go through this post, right? So here we have first, second, like there are basically four posts and these are the content of the post. Now, by just by looking at it, which all topics do, do these posts belong to, right? So for example, we call it soccer, they call it football, right? So football, football is a keyword which basically belongs to topic ID one, right? So for post ID one, the topic ID is going to be one, right? So one, one. For two, Americans prefer basketball while Europeans love handball and football, right? So there is handball and football, right? So again, two, one, stop the war and play handball. So there is war that is topic ID three. And then there is handball, which is topic ID one. And if you remember, it should be sorted in ascending order of topic ID. So it should be one, three, right? And similarly for four, Warning, I planted some flowers this morning and then got vaccinated. Now, here you need to take care, right? War and warning are not same thing, right? So you need to make sure that whenever you write that query, you need to make sure that these two are not, you know, equated. Similarly, vaccinated and vaccine like with, without the E is not same. So obviously, if you see in this content, there is nothing that is in this keywords, right? So it should be ambiguous. So if you look at the output, one, one, two, one, three, one, three, and four ambiguous. Okay, so this is what we need to do. So basically, since this information is in two different tables, right? So post table and keywords table, what we can do is we can try to accumulate the entire information in one table. And how we can do that? Joining, right? Now, how do we join this, right? Because this post ID is not same as topic ID, right? So you cannot join on this. But if you see, if you think about it, you can join on the, this content column from the post table and the word column from the keywords table. How? The question says that you need to find whether this, like which topic this content belongs to, right? So if you you know try to see that okay in in this content if you find a word from this table right this table keywords 
फ्रॉम दिस वर्ड कॉलम देन यू परफॉर्म द जॉइन अदरवाइज यू डोंट परफॉर्म द जॉइन बेसिकली यू रिटर्न नल वैल्यूज राइट सो हाउ कैन वी डू दैट लेट स्टार्ट इट स्टेप बाय स्टेप राइट बिकॉज इट इज सम वॉट ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन सो फ्रॉम दिस टेबल कॉल पोस्ट ए लिस्ट एस पी लेट्स लेफ्ट जॉइन वाई आर वी डूइंग लेफ्ट जॉइन बिकॉज इट सेज लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्प इफ यू डू द लेफ्ट जॉइन सो इर रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ वेदर दिस कंटेंट हैज एनी टॉपिक इन दिस यू नो की वर्ड्स टेबल it is going to contain all the post and like it is basically going to be helpful to return these type of you know rows where like if there is no content in the keywords so you are going to return ambiguous right so that is why we are left to joining the keywords table aliased as k on now we need to pay attention right how do we define this on clause what i said was the way to join this is if you find the keyword in this content in this table right so for example football dress yes you found it right so obviously you can join this and return the topic id right similarly for this handball and football so handball it finds handball okay so there is going to be one match and then it also finds football so it is going to be another match right so one and one similarly here stop the war and play handball right so war one match handball another match right so again two and here no match so it will return null and null right so what we need to do from this content you are basically searching the keywords right so let's say like irrespective of all this right let's say there is a column which has value let's say a b c d right and from this you want to find whether it contains a or not right so how will you write this where right where right? whatever this name of the column is going to be let's say c1 right so let's say a b c d right so where this column like where c1 column c1 like and then you write like if you are let's say trying to find out b right so if you write c1 like b will this return this one no because what it will do it will try to find exact match of b right in this so a b c d it is a b c d not just b right so it is going to return you null if you write percentage b percentage now it will say basically okay c1 like it can be anything before but there is a b and then anything after now it will find a match so you understood this is what we need to do here as well so firstly it says it should be case insens insensitive right so we can use the lower uh, function so if we just write lower p dot content right p dot content like right p dot content like and then we are what we are doing basically we are try in this content right in this content we are trying to find something right so in this content we are trying to find this word right so like and then as you said like if i just write k dot word it is not going to find it because it is going to see if there is exact match obviously there is not going to be an exact match right so to do that you need to add this percentage signs before and after it right so how can you do that you can basically add concat right use the function concat so if we write concat right and then what is the first thing that you need to do percentage sign right comma lower p dot word right and then again percentage sign right now again if you think about it there is one problem here what is the problem the problem is if you look at these parts right so warning right so in this if you see it will say okay uh, in this content right so lower p dot content it will lower all these cases and like concat anything 
that has like so in this war right so anything before and anything after so it will say okay w a r war anything after okay does not matter because that is what we have written the condition right so it will match this similarly for this right so here you should not have any match but you are going to get two matches so to take care that it matches exact words what is one thing that you can do is basically you can separate these words with let's say spaces so you can add one space before this and one space after this so that it matches those spaces after right so it matches like you know space war space so basically there is a different word called war not the letters w a r in warning or vaccine without e in vaccinated right so that is what we can do is add a space in this right okay now still there is one problem if you look at this right for example if you look at this part right so here you have you know play then space handball and that's it so like here we are looking at multiple spaces but white spaces but it is not the case right so space and then handball now it will go since here we added the spaces before and after each word right so here for war right so space before war and then space after so it is going to match with this right because here also we have added space before war and then space after so it is not a problem but here we have space handball nothing matching with space handball space right this percentage is percentage space means before space it can be anything after handball and space it can be anything here before space right before space you have anything that's okay there is no after space in this case right so that is why it is not going to be a match so to do that what you need to do is basically add spaces in these as well basically what you need to do is basically add before and after spaces in these as well so basically if the content starts or ends with that particular keyword then also it can perform a match so we can do the same thing here as well so we can write concat right and then add a space then lower p content right similarly add a space and that's it so now if you see it is going to match the beginning as well as the end as well as if the word appears anywhere between it is going to perform an exact match in this content of these keywords right so that is why we are performing this let me remove this now once we have this so basically we we found out that okay so for this we found out one match football right and we found out okay so since there is a match so you have topic id and word columns from this table similarly for two, two matches for this two matches for this no matches for this right so once you have this what you are going to do is basically group by the post id because for each post id we need to find out all the topics that it belongs to so we write group by right post id and post id belongs to post table right so p dot post id right you return the post id return p dot post id then what you need to do is so now you have basically things like post id right one uh, content topic id one right football one and uh, you have this as well so this is not uh, this does not matter because all we need is post id and topic id columns so then for two you have handball and football so you have one match so one row two one and then two two similarly for three you have three and one right and for four you have null right so how do we combine for in each group things of a particular column we can use group concat right so we write group concat and since this says that the string should not contain duplicate ids what we are grouping 
we are grouping the topic ids right but it should not have duplicate ones right for example in this case right so you have handball and football so basically if you group by and don't write distinct in this case so it is going to return the topics are one comma one but does not make sense right one comma one so we write distinct topic ids topic ids belong to keywords table so k dot topic id then you are also going to order this in a sorted in ascending order so you write order by k dot topic id okay now this is okay but if you look at this case right four so in the group by four here you are going to have basically the topic id is going to be null because there is no match right so if you just write group concat this uh, distinct of this so basically this is going to be null so but in that case you don't need to return null you need to return something right ambiguous so again we can employ the if null say that if this comes out to be null you replace it with a certain string so you write if null right if null if this entire thing comes out to be null then you simply copy this right and paste it here okay so let's go and the alias should be as topic okay so let me just pull it here this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so if this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again here it should not be p dot word it should be k dot word right uh, because uh, this word column is in the keywords table right and it is keywords not keyword right so you do this and this is how we do it again what we did was basically we joined this information on the content column of post table and the keywords tables word column right and how did we do that we basically added spaces before and after this so that there is an exact match of these words in this content right and then we try to perform a join and then we grouped by use group concat right to get the distinct topic ids and then if it comes out to be null then you replace it with ambiguous let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this problem let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video